so far. New factory location, permanent one, confirmed. Let's go. And yo, let's go and fix that puppy up. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm all, dude, she's cooking them. Oh baby, Rachel's hosting a barbecue. I, I, I don't know what to do, man. <gasps> Do you know what's coming in Act 2, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? The settlement, something that we are going to be able to build up and make our very own. Your eyes, your ears, do not deceive you today. We are going to begin building our second base on the map, finally! So the way that this goes, once you log in, I'm sorry, I'm a little all over the place. I'm very excited. Once you log in, uh, whatchamacallit, you gotta finish Act 1 to get this done. Luckily, they made it a lot easier to finish. The last mission no longer requires 15 crates from Bunker Alpha to be open. It just requires three. So I went ahead and did that, grabbed the rewards, and then yeah, you get to begin Act 2. But how does it begin? It has to begin by you popping over to this fella named Connor. Don't know if he's McGregor or not. He doesn't look like him, but you never know in the apocalypse, right? Uh, but watch because I gotta pop over, talk to our man Connor over here, have a little bit of a convo with them, and long story short, I'll be like, yo, I'm trying to build a new base, and I'll be like, yo, I would love to have another base and help you along the way, and then you can go ahead and pop on over to the brand spanking new settlement area on the map, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is where we have arrived, we've helped Connor over here fend off against the zombie, we also are rocking an awesome outfit from the season 20, uh, season 26 is what we're in the middle of, right? Finally got the premium battle pass, and as a part of that pass, we got this awesome fit over here that we're rocking and then it actually goes perfectly with this old backpack we got. I honestly could not, I don't even remember where I got this backpack from, dude. I have so many backpacks, man. Like, I, this is why we need the new base, man. I need somewhere to put all these backpacks. <laughs> Memes aside, though, we have arrived. I could not be more excited. Hopefully y'all are as well. So make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell because we are going to be having a ball with this update and our boy Connor. All right, let's get down to it. My guys are out scouting and I'm getting the settlement ready for their arrival. First, help me clean up this mess and that appears to be the first mission. We gotta clear out the trash. That's right, baby. It is trash day, apparently. Hello, fast biter. Hey, goodbye to you. And let's just go ahead and try to dig up some of these trash piles. Then if we look around, it appears like this settlement or whatever actually has like a few of these various bases that we're gonna be able to build up. Is that the return of the antenna? <gasps> can be found in the factory, yo! It looks like along with the new settlement, we're getting some new permanent locations as well. Dude, let's go, this is what I love to see. And this is why I know some people were bummed when the seasons made their change from introducing new content to being just, you know, like pretty much a season is now a glorified battle pass and they just add new content whenever they get the chance to. But like, honestly, that, like, that's the reason we've gotten this update so quickly after we got the Act 1 update, and we're already on to the Act 2 update, like, what, a month later? I actually cannot remember the last time we got two actual substantial permanent content updates like this so quickly after one another. So, like, I, listen, man, I, I, I'm turning a new leaf on this, and I love what Last Day on Earth is doing because it appears like we are finally, potentially going to be getting a steady stream of permanent content for the first time in, like, freaking forever or something, and I, like... I, I, I don't know what to do, man. <gasps> locations not only do we get a second base we are building up but on top of this all the minivan vehicle is available for repair and now here's the thing i got a feeling we're going to be able to actually drive and use this thing for a very certain purpose because if you go ahead and look over here to the stories that now means that every vehicle every icon for every act is confirmed to have to do with the vehicle or like with a buildable vehicle which is very, very nice for Act 5, because that means we'll probably be able to build the helicopter in Act 5 and make our way to Booker Charlie. We got a few acts in between then, but nonetheless, that is so exciting, because for Act 2, we got all this stuff going on. Uh, whatchamacall, and uh, can I get, I still gotta do a few more tasks, gotta clear out the trash and all that jazz. Already some really nice prizes, even on the free-to-play side of things with that Glock, and I love the, just the, dude, the things that it's gonna allow you to get. So we're definitely gonna have to build that minivan up. Yeah, we will definitely do that. Do not even worry, although, 
I think the thing that might limit us is going to be the, these. I have, I have everything else that we need. I can tell you right off the bat. I do not have these spark plugs. Those can be found on the highway by the gas station. Another new location for the sounds of it. Let's go. Dude, the amount of permanent. I'm not used to things being this permanent in last day on earth. Let's freaking go. Oh my, I just, I, I can't, dude, I can't, I, I'm just, I am feeling some type of way. All right, Connor, what's up? That's where my guys will live. I'll get to the construction, but I'm all out of screws. That's all uh, right. I'll, I'll get some screws your way. Rachel was going to search for them in the motel, but she's been missing for a while. Go there and see if she needs help. All right. So I suppose I cannot do that yet. And hello, we have a new button, a new icon up here in the top right hand corner of the screen. What do you diddly do? We can fast travel between home locations. Dude, that is actually sick. So if we're at this base, we can just press a button and instantly teleport to our old base. And then I'm guessing this button's gonna be available at our old base that'll allow us to instantly teleport here. I love that. I also love the fact that, uh, really quickly, let's get uh, this underway and open up Act 2 because, uh, whatchamacall, we got some prizes. Oh my God, I almost knocked over a water bottle in my excitement, dude. If I had a face cave, you guys could have seen me just freaking karate chop a big old San Pellegrino bottle. That was something. Also, dude, plenty of raw resources here. Also, how big is this location? This is actually kind of crazy. How am I still walking? Dude. I, I, I can't wait to see what the building mechanics look like for this. Hopefully you all can't hear this. Okay, like I was saying, uh, make sure you subscribe to that notification bell. It seems like we're gonna have a lot to do in this update and I'm prepared to do it because uh, don't know if y'all know, I got a lot of loot I've been saving up for updates just like this. So as soon as they come, we can go absolutely bonkers, absolutely handbag and cheese on the darn thing. Uh, but first we gotta go over here to the motel. Yellow, how you doing factory location? And where's that highway location? that we were talking about. They said a highway location by the gas station. Maybe it'll reveal itself a little bit later on. That's kind of the vibe I'm potentially getting. But so far, new factory location, permanent one, confirmed. Let's go. Oh, we got some nice potential prizes. To we can get tickets out of here too? Another way to be getting tickets? Bruh. I'm in love. That's all I can say. All right, though, without further ado, let's pop into the motel. Let's get the show on the road and let's hear from y'all in that comment section down below. Cause dude, I can, I, 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 word, I cannot express all the words that I have to talk about this update. So I just want to hear what the heck y'all think of this because I am blown away that this is finally happening. I actually think I'm dreaming, dude. I like, I like, I dream about last down or sometimes I think this might be one of those dreams. Because I can't believe what I am seeing. So definitely let me know what y'all think in that comment section down below. What a bloodthirsty pest. Uh, goodbye and off of Ether Shane to you. We got to examine Rachel's stuff because it looks like she got a little bit of a crash. That's not very cash money of you, Rachel. Oh my God. But she's also gone on a murder spree by the looks of it with some freshly killed zombies. Well, let's continue looking for Rachel in that case. I mean, this this over here is the last thing. It appears to be her backpack. Oh my goodness. The last note I've already searched the whole motel. No dang screws anywhere. My last hope is the basement. How have you not found screws anywhere? Are they that, are they that rare? Are they that hard to find? I like, I mean, I guess technically I don't actually have any screws throughout my entire five year existence of last day on earth I'd, i've never found a screw before only nuts and bolts but never a literal screw i blame the game for not putting it in there i feel like i would have found some by now you know what i mean but uh, let's go over to the basement this is the second time in the storyline we're making our way back to the basement dude which is actually kind of funny uh which i love this new addition of the basement i i I'm, I'm a fan what can i say but let's go down there let's find rachel like i said let me know what you think in that comment section down below and if y'all are excited for this update and everything that it encompasses and brings smash the bajits that i like to let your boy know because listen as a youtuber uh the like button obviously is my power source there's a reason every youtuber in existence asks for likes uh, it is because if they don't get likes they will uh die just kidding i, I probably won't die but it'd be pretty cool because i'd love to hear what y'all think of the updates so far so like i said definitely let me know in that comment section down below too y'all's thoughts on things yellow dude you appear to be rather dead Let's take you out. But yeah, I would love to hear, you know, what, what y'all thoughts are, what you're most excited for. Because, dude, I, I actually don't know if I'm more excited for building up the settlement. And on top of that, also, like, the minivan. Like, I like I don't know. If I had to pick a single thing, I actually don't know. I think those might be tied. And then all, like, dude, I, I'm interested in the way that we're going to be able to build the settlement. I don't think, it, by the, the, way, the way it looked, it didn't look like it was going to be... How, how does one say? I, I don't think it is 
going to be the type of settlement that we build like our base. I don't think we're just going to be explicitly building walls and stuff. It seems like there's going to be like various buildings that require materials. We got to gather those materials and then build said buildings. You know what I mean? I, I, I hope that makes sense. Yo, Rachel, I will save you. Look at that. Your hero is here. Call me Prince Charming, baby. What up? What up? How you doing, Rach? And let me just go and uh, take down some more of these folks, dude. But yeah, I, I, this is actually the second time I've been in the motel ever since the basement was added. And both times I've been on a mission. So, like, I wonder, is the basement, like, a permanent thing? I actually got to, like, double check and come back to the motel sometime to check that. Because I'm kind of curious. Darn zombies, they almost got me. I thought I was done for. Good thing you're here. Did Connor send you? He's waiting for the gosh darn screws. They're behind this door. Move. I'll open it. You know what else is behind this door? A floater bloater that apparently is only interested in my blood. Why not hers? I don't know. Let's take a good look around here. Don't diddly mind if I diddly do. And let's go and bring some weaponry up into that backup slot. My weapons are a little bit over. I'm also running a little bit low. There's just some leftover uh, weapons from the uh, Bunker Alpha run that I completed, uh, which I'm called just the other day. Uh, but let me just go ahead and pop on into the chest. I feel like this is where the screws are going to be. Bada bing, bada boom. Three screws coming your way. And a little bit of other supplies that I will happily be taking as well. I will actually take everything, man, you know? Because I feel like most of the stuff we find in the quests and stuff usually is directly used further in the quests and stuff, if that makes sense. But uh, I'll talk to Rachel here in a second. Let's just put those band-aids back into there and bring them to Connor. I'm going to the factory. All right, Rachel, sounds good. Are you going to... Can you open this door? No? Okay, we're going to take the long way. We're taking the long way, I suppose. Uh... I was hoping maybe to get some sort of a shortcut, a little bit of relief there, but that will not be the case. Let's make our way back to the settlement, though, and I mean, hopefully these screws will be the finishing touch and Connor will be able to, let's have a rest and then we'll keep moving. You want to chill? You want to rest? What do, what do you mean? Why do you want to rest? I ain't resting. There ain't no rest for the wicked, Rachel, okay? Let's make our way back to the settlement and drop off these screws, and then I feel like, you know, in exchange for these screws, Connor will pretty much end up building the first building of our settlement. I feel like it'll be the most important building. You know what he's gonna build? If this was Clash of Clans, man's gonna be building a, uh, he's, he's gonna build our town center. And then the other stuff we're gonna build on from there. I don't think it's gonna work exactly like Clash of Clans. Uh, that'd be really random, but kind of hilarious and kind of cool if it did. But uh, what I did hear the developers say in their devlog that uh, accompanied this update is that this update is kind of the foundation for a lot of stuff. And so on top of everything that we're able to immediately do in this update, building up the settlement, building up the minivan, on top of that, it seems like a lot of like the further updates are actually going to kind of like encompass this exactly like I, I i don't know how else to explain it but it seems like this is gonna be ground zero for even more updates and even more content which makes me very very curious and very very interested if perhaps i don't know uh, you know that we there might be some sort of rating system or settlement base defense system Added on top of it, man. The possibilities with this are endless. Connor, my boy, what is up? Oh, screws, thanks. So you say Rachel's at the factory. Go and see how she's doing in there. And all right, we finally, ladies and gentlemen, are allowed the privilege of traveling to the factory. And dude, I need to get this outfit because that outfit, listen, I'm building a freaking settlement, man. All right, I got to look the part. I think that will pass. And let's go and claim some of those rewards. Not as good as mission one. But I'll make do. Oh, a 15-part quest over here. Yellow, yellow. Well, 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 Rachel. It appears like, dude, I, I always forget, like, how far I have to run to go out of bounds if I go that way. I just got to start walking out of the settlement this way or whatever. But, all right, let's see what exactly is going to be going on. I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit disappointed the settlement isn't further away. Like, I was hoping that this second base, you know, we'd be able to put, like, uh, perhaps, let's say, I don't know. You know, I was hoping we'd be able to put it like uh, like further out, like like around here maybe, so then we could use it as like a closer base for collecting some of these zones that are otherwise a lot further normally. I don't know, so kind of interesting there, but yo, 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 abandoned factory. You ain't gonna be abandoned for long, cause I'm coming inside you, baby! And really quick, just a reminder to go to the link at the very tip the top of the description, switch TV slash star slash where we are live here, so Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern time, streaming some last day on Earth, having a blast, and with this update and all this settlement building we've got to do, we are gonna have some absolute banging streams coming your way. So be sure you go ahead and pop on over there. We are live every Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern time. If you don't know what time that stream starts in your local time zone, so TV slash star type schedule, we'll be able to go ahead and help you out. Also, link at the top of the description. So go ahead and check that out. Once you know what time that it starts uh, in your local time zone, that's the same time it starts every single week. So looking forward to seeing y'all folks over there, hopefully every single Friday. If you guys like Last Day on Earth and hopefully me, it's an awesome time, especially because on top of the usual content, it also does have a face cam and the live chat so y'all can literally interact with me and everyone who's watching the stream all at once live as it's going on and even 
see my reaction as I'm like talking and hanging out with you guys. So great way to kick off the weekend. Hopefully I see y'all there and hopefully we can enjoy the heck out of this update together. We're at the abandoned factory and dude, I can't believe it. I literally can't remember the last time I got a new permanent location added like this. Did Connor send you again? Fine, we have to find an antenna. And like, here's the thing. This is actually activate the electrical panel. Sure thing, I'll do that. Uh, whatchamacallit? I gotta find some transistors, bro. I feel like they're gonna be right here in the lockers, aren't they? I feel like this, so far the stories are pretty helpful when it comes to, okay, yeah, there you go, there you go. Okay. I'm psychic, oh, star is psychic. He is the biggest brain of them all. All right, let's go ahead and fix that puppy right on up. I got the shotgun rain over here for crowd control. And then, but yeah, I was gonna say, this has been actually this exact location. And this is what else I love. This exact location has actually been a part of, won't open, there's not enough power, look for another electrical panel. It's been a part of previous quests and previous seasons and to see it now return as permanent content, like let's go, dude. That's what I'm talking about, man. This is why I just want like all this stuff that's used in seasons. Like if it's not permanent, like last day on earth is let's go. That is an awesome loot to be finding right there. A little gun. Uh, like if, if it's not currently like that, or if it's not like, dude, they have so many like temporary locations they've used in the past that they could add back in as permanent locations of this factory is literally a perfect example of that man and not just is it gonna be useful for getting settlement stuff but like let's not forget i actually gotta walk into the door dude i'm brain dead sometimes uh let's not forget we saw the loot table you can get like tickets and stuff out of here man and yo let's go and fix that puppy up oh my goodness gracious i'm all oh, dude she's cooking them oh baby rachel's hosting a barbecue Let's go. All right. I hope you made mine a medium rare, Rach. And let me just go in. Yeah, you got that covered. Listen, you got the flamethrower. Okay, you might need a little bit of help. Check it, right. All right, Rachel. Are you are you, are you just going to let them beat on you from here? Okay, there you go. There's the rest of the flames. I love how much we're seeing the flamethrower, dude. We got it as a reward out of chapter four. We got it as a reward out of chapter five. Rachel's using it. Listen, I want to see the flamethrower uh, more and more. All right. It is a fan favorite. And that fan is me. All right, now if I recall correctly, what is these, what is these gear icons we'll probably have to interact with a little bit later. There has to be an antenna in the chest, but we won't open it because of the gas. Mm. I remember this, man. This, oh, hello. I will just back it up a little bit there. Oh, baby, shotgun rain. Some state drive, the bloaters feel the pain. Shotgun rain, always had one flying. Some state drive will bloat his field of pain. Da, da, da. But no, dude, this is actually like very similar mechanics to the last time around when the factory was a, uh, a two, I spit on you, Barry T. Uh, very similar mechanics to the factory the last time around when it was, you know, as part of like a temporary event. Cause like, uh, we can like open up those, ow, chests to get stuff, which is very, very interesting, my friend. And let me just go and shut off that valve right there. And then let's make our way over to the next location. Yeah, okay, luckily. Oh, you are dead in one shot because the shotgun rain does 80 freaking damage and you stand no shot at surviving that. Don't deadly mind if I collect some of those. Let's just go and activate the second gas. And we've heard some rattles. And Rachel, what's up? What's up? Do I get to open the box? The moment of truth. Show me what you got. Garbage. Literal garbage. Are you like, bruh, 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 bruh. Are you brying me right now, bruh? If there's no head title, let's try to look for it in the basement. Yeah, I mean, that seems like the uh, only plan of action. I gotta clear this blockage. Why would I use a shovel for crates? Dude, what, what do you mean? These are made out of wood. If Minecraft has taught me anything, you gotta use an axe for that. Shovels are for the dirt. I gotta find a shovel somewhere. Oh, hold up. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Uh, I'm just gonna go murder this floater. Bloater really quickly. Uh, I can fix this. That will lower the crate inside of the crate. Maybe that shovel that I need? Ah, there is no shovel, no shovel whatsoever. Okay, very cool, very cool. Just kidding, not cool at all. Very not cool. And I am not finding anything around the outskirts of here. Do I literally have to go and find a shovel somewhere? Did I just very, like, painfully, obviously miss a shovel? I may have, okay? I sometimes suffer from temporary blindness when I record videos because I pass up things that I really should not pass up. And you know what? I don't know if this is a spurt of that or if this shovel should be somewhere. Maybe it'll be like on the outskirts somewhere, like maybe by this tree. There's like a crashed car. Um, I mean, I'm not seeing no shovel over there. Uh, maybe like up here. I think there's like another tree that like last time this was an event, there was like a dead guy up here. The shovel! Oh, I speak the truth, baby! Don't know why we need a shovel, but I got it nonetheless. Mm -mm. And I got some dead floater bloaters on my hands. Mm -mm. Oh, and a turkey too. Well, I'm sorry, turkey. Collateral damage. 
it happens. Now I feel excuse me, dude. We've murdered a lot of things in this location. And by the way, Billy Mays here. There's more. Did that use up my, that used up the shovel? Bro, are you kidding me? I had to use up the whole shovel for that. Also, come on, flamethrower lady. You better make your patootie down that away. Cause uh, like, come on, ladies first. Why are you making me go first? Come on, have some decency here. And I might be a little bit scared, but we're not gonna talk about that. I don't get scared. Even though I don't play horror games ever for a reason. I don't get scared. There has to be an antenna somewhere here. Let me, tell me if you find it. All right, I will. Well. I ain't no electrical engineer, but when water's electrified, I feel like we should stay out of it. Gonna go this way. Uh, there appears to be a lot of gas. Someone had a nasty breakfast burrito here. Ow. Uh, turned off the electricity. Still suffering from the breakfast burrito. Can't, it is not fading. I thought it was maybe fading. It is not, it is not. I got to move. Oh, no, 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 no. What the heck, we got an exploder over here. Rachel, you gonna help out a little bit here, sis? No? You're just gonna run around with like a chicken with your head cut off? Okay, there you go, a little bit of assistance. Thank you very kindly, Rachel. I appreciate it. Go back to looking at the barrels. Very helpful. Yes, yes, that'll that'll do the freaking trick, yeah. All right, let's get rid of those freaking gas things over here. Too gassy for me, brother, too gassy. Spin this puppy up. A shotgun rain the spitter. And we are looking good there. Electrified water, I will not touch, don't touch, don't touch. I will deactivate the electricity. And now I can loot this thing up, no problem. Hopefully we find a new weapon, because honestly, some of these chests have been actually dropping weapons. No weapons in this one, but various parts. And listen, I feel like a lot of these chests and a lot of these parts will directly will be able to use. So the, like the storyline's kind of helping us get a lot of the parts that we need for, uh, whatchamacall, for the, I am brain farting insanely hard right now, um, um, for building up the various buildings at the settlement. You know, I feel like this will really come in handy. I got a generator over there that I got to bring. Am I going to be able to pick that? I got too many of them at my base, dude. Why is this still a thing? I literally have to go back, get rid of one of my generators, and then come back here so I can pick up this generator. I've been absolutely played, brother. And all right, here we have one of my battalions of generators. Um, I I will just put it on the back of here, man, because I, I think that should make us, like, by technically putting it on the back of our motorcycle and then driving our motorcycle off, technically that removes one from our base and I should be able to pick that other one up. I think, I don't know, I would, dude, this always happens to me, man. Whenever I have to like pick up the generator for like a sub quest, like in the sewers or like this example right here or the last time the factory was around and there was the same generator mechanic, like all very similar, man. I'm feeling a major case of deja vu. Like, devs, plus. If you are watching this video, hi, appreciate, and love the permanent content, especially how quickly it's coming. But, like, can we do something about these generators so I don't have to go on a freaking errand in the middle of my mission here? I also should have brought more guns. It's mine are about to break, but we'll be fine. Maybe, hopefully. I don't know. We'll see. That's half the fun of it. Let's go back to the basement. Hey, and we are back in the basement, hopefully with the newfound ability to pick up a generator. Like, dude, I feel like these generators should be exempt from that, like, limit. Because, like, I'm not going to be able to bring this puppy out of here, man. But whatever. I, I suppose I will just leave that generator on the back of my bike for eternity so I don't run into issues like this. And now we should be able to bloop, plop that puppy down yellow and goodbye. A floater bloater. Let me just go and spin this puppy up. Beautiful. Do you in? Let's see what we got up here inside of the desk. Hopefully something good. Big money, no whammy. Big money, no whammy. Big money, no whammy. Decent money, baby. That's what we were looking for. You love to see that. And now I just got to go back in and talk to Rachel. Hello. Oh, goodbye to you. Six different times. Because that's how many parts you've been split up into my dog. And all right, Rachel. How you doing? Got it? Great. Connor will be thrilled. Yes, he will. Return to the settlement. Is that it? Is that all? I feel like there's another crate we can get from the abandoned factory, dude. I swear I saw it hanging from the ceiling or something like that. Also want to find out where the heck we can find these ticket crates or these tickets that we were told about. I wonder if maybe the first time the loot's predetermined when we go to the abandoned factory because of the fact that it's like got the story interwoven with it. But then like maybe next time that we come back here, hold up a second chest has appeared. Hello, how you doing, baby? Where did you come from? I don't know. Where did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? We got one yellow ticket. Fantastic, brother. Fantastic. All right. I will just uh, get rid of those. I don't know when I got that berry tea. Achoo! Let's get rid of it. I suppose I'll drink it, though, because I was getting a little bit thirsty, I think. Still would never support everything that berry tea stands for, however. Um, there's this. Ooh! And that dropped something. 
Is it something good? Maybe? Just a little more food. Dude. This loot better be better the next time that I come back to the factory, my guy. Okay? Because I'm not impressed. All right? That is not the word I would use to describe this. I'm, I'm whelmed. I'm underwhelmed. Maybe whelmed if you're lucky. Definitely not overwhelmed. Perhaps whelmed if you're feeling generous. Most likely underwhelmed at the loot that I got the first time with that story interwoven. But I am very excited to check that place out. In about two days, that's gonna be the respawn timer for the new location. Very excited to check that place out in two days to see what a like normal factory run without the story might look like and what the loot might be. We'll definitely be checking it out. Don't you worry, so make sure you're subscribed. Put that notification bell hit. But I think y'all already know. You know, I don't gotta remind you that many times, except I do. Do it. I promise, it, 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 science shows, scientific studies of science show that by subscribing and hitting that like button and hitting that notification bell and doing all the things, uh, fantastic things happen. Like, uh, they just do. All right, let's finish headquarters and set up the connection. Sure thing, is this the headquarters? Yeah, do I gotta like bring stuff? It would be nice to set up an antenna on the roof of the center. I heard they can be found at the factory. Oh, oh my goodness gracious. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Iron wire, that's a new item. But, uh, all right, so that can be found at the farm. So it looks like I will now become busy looting the farm. Uh, we finally got a reason to go back there. So I, 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 I'm sorry, I just forgot how to English there for a second. By the looks of it, each of these new locations, asbestos can be found in the port sewers. Interesting. Each of these new locations actually introduced. That can be found at the highway by the gas station. Uh, I don't know. I'll go to the gas station really quickly to check that. But it appears like each and every one of the things we can build at our settlement has new items that we got to find from each location. So we kind of have a reason to go back and start looting some of these places that we haven't really looted uh, too recently. Like the screws, you know, you can find those at the motel and stuff like that. Uh, right now, our main focus is just to finish building up the headquarters. But again, uh, we're, we're gonna need more more antennas to do that, which can be found at the factory. So we might need to wait for the factory to respawn unless I can like maybe cheese my way to victory and like, like auto clear it and see if that maybe does the trick. I don't know, but uh, that is quite something, man. So yeah, we're gonna be very busy bees trying to get all this stuff since it's kind of limited in its nature. Now, alright, really quickly, it said the, the highway by the gas station. I do want to see what the heck is up with the gas station in that case, and where this highway is. I wonder if that's going to be a location added, like, in the next update. Maybe we're not going to be able to build the vehicle quite yet. Maybe we have to wait until, like, a further update that adds that highway location. Uh, also, can I auto-clear this? I can! I can! Does this give me... It does not give me what I am looking for. No, 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 no. I'll try a few more times for the sake of science. But science appears to be letting me down today. Oh, brother. Are you kidding me right meow? Yeah, unless I'm just the unluckiest person alive. Definitely a possibility. Uh, it does appear like we can't get the, the, the special new items from the auto clear, which is definitely a bummer, man. But we are gonna have to go and hit up the farm. We are gonna have to go and hit up the port sewers to grab some of that stuff. But before we do that, what is this highway talk by the gas station? I want to get to the bottom of that mystery. All right, I'm going Sherlock Holmes mode and trying to find out what's going on with that. That's the one location I don't explicitly see on the map. So like, I like, I like, and let, ooh, and less, hold up. And less and less and less. I mean, I remember last time, Is this doing what I think it's doing? Or have I been led astray? Because that looked like a very special icon on the minimap. No, I was led astray. I look like a doofus now. Uh, you might be like, Star, why the heck did you just get so excited? Pay attention to the minimap, man, because exactly where I was walking through, where in a previous quest in Act 1, we had to walk specifically through that exit to the zone, and then we ended up at that new like highway location for the first time. Uh, that icon is actually right there. Look at that. Look at that. That's the type of icon that we've seen when, like, it teleports you directly to another location. So maybe that's just disabled for now. My best guess is maybe 
finishing the vehicle is not yet possible in this update, but it'll be possible in like a future update when some of that stuff is added. Cause like, I'm not like, I'm, I'm not, I'm not seeing what I'm looking for here. I'm, 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 there's, there's nothing, uh, no, like I'm not seeing anything else at the gas station to lead us the way we want to go. Now here's, here's the one thing I do want to check though. I do want to make a quick pit stop back to the factory. Cause unless I'm crazy, which I very much might be. Didn't he, he mention something about like a roof? So is there maybe like more areas to the factory to loot? I mean, I, I'm, I'm just going out on a leg here. I might be completely wrong. This might just be like, I, I don't know. I'm doing whatever I can because I want to finish this up as soon as possible. But at the very least, it looks like most of those buildings we should be able to construct. So uh, yeah, I'm going to be very, very busy. Uh, I'm going to have to be clearing the farm, the port sewers, uh, and the motel in the factory four locations every time that they reappear and that should allow us to build four things but for now it appears like we might be slightly just a wee bit slowed down there in terms of uh building these buildings there's going to be a time component incorporated into them and that's going to be a component that we are going to have to uh break into you know what i mean does this have new stuff in it no still the same, same old same old so hmm unfortunately that does appear to be the case. Well, I suppose we'll be busy bees. We'll be very busy bees moving forward. When we return, ladies and gentlemen, we're building up one of those gosh darn buildings. Hopefully many. But in the meantime, that's going to start wrapping it up for me for now. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.